Welcome to the History of North America. I'm Mark Vinette. In this episode, we travel back to pre-Hispanic Mexico to unveil a great ancient culture and society. Join me as we explore one of the most famous and celebrated Mesoamerican civilizations, the Maya. Mesoamerica represents a region of the New World like Mesopotamia does for the Old World. The Maya civilization was a Mesoamerican culture that developed in an area that includes southern Mexico. This region consists of the lowlands encompassing the Yucatan Peninsula along the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific coast and the Mexican state of Chiapas. Prior to 2000 BC, the region saw the first developments in agriculture and the earliest villages. The next two millennia saw the establishment of the first complex societies and the cultivation of staple crops. The importance of agriculture cannot be underestimated. Because the supply of food became regular, reliable, and in some cases abundant, agriculture led to an increase in population and, as nomadic wanderings were no longer necessary, to a greater concentration of population. A settled way of life led to different kinds of specialization that eventually gave rise to complex social structures. The Olmecs, discussed in episode 8 of this series, settled in Mesoamerica and were a mother culture to the great Maya civilization. The first Maya cities developed around 750 BC, and by 500 BC, these cities possessed monumental architecture, including large exotic temples with elaborate stucco facades, built without the aid of metal tools or the wheel. Beginning around 250 AD, the Maya civilization flourished and developed many impressive city-states, linked by a prosperous and organized trade network and sophisticated road systems. The 3rd century also saw the intrusive intervention in Maya dynastic politics of the central Mexican city of Teotihuacan, Located 30 miles or 48 kilometers from modern-day Mexico City, Teotihuacan, meaning City of the Gods, is today the most visited archaeological site in Mexico, but one of the least understood. Shrouded in mystery, the early history of this pre-colonial monumental city is quite unclear, and the origin of its founders and mysterious elite is still uncertain. At its peak, the city covered over 11 square miles, or 30 kilometers, with broad avenues and gigantic pyramids, and housed a population of 200,000 people. Obsidian, a naturally occurring volcanic glass, was the main source of wealth in Teotihuacan. Its processing produced tools and objects of various types intended for commercial transactions beyond the geographical boundaries of the city. Items included figurines, blades, spikes, knife handles, jewelry, and ornaments. The city reached its zenith in 450 AD when it was the center of a powerful culture whose influence extended through much of the Mesoamerican region, influencing Maya culture. The rapid decline and total collapse of Teotihuacan in the 6th century was sudden and still unexplained. Maya cities were located in places that controlled trade routes, or that could supply essential products. They tended to be dispersed and were subject to irregular expansion, with the haphazard growth outwards from the core. The city center would be occupied by ceremonial and administrative complexes, surrounded by an irregular sprawl of residential districts. Different parts of a city would often be linked by limestone causeways. The principal architecture of the city centers consisted of grand palaces, ceremonial ball courts, sprawling plazas, edifices used for marketplaces and schools, magnificent structures aligned for astronomical observation, stone pyramid temples, and other monumental buildings dedicated to elite activities. The Maya elite were literate and developed a complicated system of hieroglyphic writing that was the most advanced in the pre-Columbian Americas. Hieroglyphic writing was being used in the Maya region by the 3rd century BC. Noted for its logosyllabic script, the Maya developed the most sophisticated and innovative writing system in pre-Columbian North America. 
They recorded their history and ritual knowledge on bark paper in codices or screenfold books, of which only a few uncontested examples remain. There are also a great many examples of Maya text found on stela and ceramics. Their civilization is also renowned for its art, architecture, astronomical system, a highly complex series of interlocking ritual calendars, sacred geometry, and mathematics that included one of the world's earliest instances of the explicit zero. Political rule was centered on the concept of the divine king, who acted as a mediator between mortals and the supernatural realm. Kingship was patrilineal, and power would normally pass to the eldest son. A prospective king was also expected to be a successful military leader, for the Mayan world was dominated by warring superpowers. Maya politics was controlled by a closed system of patronage, although the exact political makeup of a kingdom varied from city-state to city-state. Later, the aristocracy greatly increased, resulting in the corresponding reduction in the exclusive power of the god-king. The Maya civilization developed highly sophisticated illuminating art forms created by skillful sculptors and painters. They fashioned art using both perishable and non-perishable materials, including wood, jade, obsidian, ceramics, sculptured stone monuments, stucco, and finely painted murals. Traditional Maya religion represented a belief system of intricate ritual practices. Among the main concepts relating to Maya ceremonial acts are topography and calendrical mapping, the priesthood, purification, prayer, pilgrimages, feasting, ritual domains, mythology, ancestor worship, dramatic performances, and the impersonation of deities. As a result of their religion, the Maya practiced human sacrifice to win favors from their many gods. Sacrifice was a religious activity in Maya culture, involving the killing of humans or animals, and bloodletting or auto-sacrifice by members of the community in rituals superintended by priests. Offerings and mass human sacrifices propitiated or fulfilled a perceived obligation towards the glory and nourishment of their deities. Mayans thrived for centuries, distinguished by a sophisticated culture. But in the 9th century, there was a widespread ruleship and political breakdown in the central Maya region, marked by the abandonment of cities, the ending of royal dynasties, and a northward shift of population and activity from the lowlands to the highlands. No universally accepted theory explains this collapse, but it likely had a combination of causes, including endemic internecine rebellion and warfare, overpopulation resulting in severe environmental degradation, and drought. Although much reduced, a significant Maya presence remained after the depopulation and abandonment of its major cities. The once enlightened civilization declined until the last independent Maya city fell to the Spanish in the early 16th century. Next time, we will encounter another fascinating Mesoamerican culture and civilization the Aztec Empire. Please consider supporting our History of North America series in the following ways. Join our Patreon. We offer lots of membership benefits, including artworks and books. I have authored many historical fiction and nonfiction books, including exciting international historical mystery and suspense thrillers. One of the main characters in my Denari novel series is a young woman named Andalusia who has Mexican ancestral connections. All my books are available in print and digital format on Amazon. If you shop Amazon, for books or anything else, make sure to use our link so Amazon knows who sent you, thereby giving us extra credit, with no supplemental cost to you. All links appear in this episode's description and on our website at markvinet.com. Join me again next time and spread the word to family and friends. And don't forget, all positive ratings, reviews, feedback, and comments are appreciated and help attract more people to this series. I'm Mark Vinette, and I hope you enjoyed the listen.